Hey guys, Neil Synthesis here again, and today I'm going to be doing some plastic tipping off my controller. And the sort of parts I'll be doing are going to be the side bits here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how to take these off and what sort of tools you want to use because it makes it simpler. And I'm going to show you what sort of paint I'm using as well. So to start off, I'm going to be coating it in this plastic dip blaze. And I've seen a lot of my friends do this, such as, oh my god, what the fuck, lols. And I believe she took this from a oh, Hapel. I'm, sorry, I'm, not to, I'm not going to take their credit. It's their thing. Uh, I saw it. I like what they did. And there's their shout out for that. Um, I think this is a really good idea because it is a rubber coating sort of thing as well. You're going to get a lot of grip and control. I find that I am a hardcore player and my hands do sweat like a bitch. So to take off the parts of the controller, <coughs> you can buy a... These tools online, you know, they're about three quid and five dollars, something like that. And all it is, it's like a foam repair kit. You get like this little spatula thing with a hook on the end, simply goes into the controller. Find a space to open it. And this way, you, it saves you from snapping all the bits and bobs inside. And that's it. Once you've got one back off, literally comes off like that. It's simple as that. Nothing hard to it. What you do then is just sort of clean it up. I know plastic tip doesn't like to stick to everything, but as this is plastic, it sticks well. As I've seen from their videos, I'll make sure it's a nice clean surface to get the best result. I'm not going to teach you to suck eggs. But once this is all off, you are pretty much rocking the go. There we are. And also, when you find you take these off, if you've had this controller for as long as I have day one, it is disgusting inside. I don't know why. You know, I am quite a hygienic person, to be fair. But, yeah. But, no, I'll give this a nice clean out. As you can see, both the parts are off. If you've got the back case for the battery hatch as well, um, you could do that. I was thinking about doing it, but now I've got a new Venom battery pack thing, especially designed for my controller. I'm not going to do that, so I don't mess up the metal contacts when you're charging it but guys that is it that's the two parts off and all we're going to do is simply spray these and i'll give you the grip around the edges and also a nice cool color and i will show you that result when i get back i'm not going to show you what it's like spraying because again i'm not teaching to suck eggs um but i'll show you what it looks like when we get back and hopefully you guys will be impressed as much as i am ciao for now right then guys to take off where we left off i just left to go and spray it and that is the finished product. I know the room's a bit dark at the moment, and I hope the window actually gets worse. Um, but it's actually like a neon green colour. It's really nice. It's got a really smooth finish. And you can feel the rubber, you know, the, it grips. I'm pulling down as hard as I can there. So that's going to benefit me when I'm gaming, because I hate slipping and pushing the wrong button. I keep hitting the B button every time I'm trying to use a thumb stick, but I slip sometimes, it's annoying. But this is going to look awesome when I put it on. So all you do is simply reattach it. Find the right side, put it there and just click it in, job done. Do the other one as well. I know it says four hours drying time, but you know, it's pretty much done. And voila, all done. And that is looking suave, if I fucking do say so myself. You know, it can really make a difference to a controller, just having a little bit of colour on it. So you can do the battery hatch, and I reckon that would look quite sweet as well, having on the back a nice contrast, but it feels, yeah, sturdy. And also with the spray, I'll say it goes inside underneath it as well. You don't have to spray underneath, but it happens. And it's actually made it a bit more, it doesn't shake and rattle as much. You know, the day one control like I'm using here. If you squeeze the sides, you get that sort of like, it feels like it's crunching and crushing. But now the spray sort of got in between all the uh, pegs, it's a bit more sturdy. So that's a, a nice finish to it as well. But there we are, guys. Looking good. And um, some people ask me what I'm going to be doing now. 